hoes. Damn, where the fuck the light at? I don't know why these niggas keep on stalking me. They wanna copy me. Damn. This don't be the light. Just give me that line and pass the draw. Just give me that line. Just give me the freaking line. Let me shut the fuck up because it's like 5 a.m. Hey hoes, it's another video. Currently 5.38 a.m. And it is Wednesday morning. And guess who finna get their motherfucking nails done? Why am I so hype when it's 5 a.m., bitch? Chill the fuck down. Like, chillax, chillax, bitch. Damn. But yeah, today I'm finna get my nails done by one of the baddest motherfucking nail techs to ever grace a nail salon. Okay? Okay, like literally, literally what? Oh my God, y'all, hold on. Okay, this is. <laughs> <laughs> let me see. <laughs> let me see. Let me see something. Oh shit. Oh, that's a. Oh, oh. It's giving jump scare. One thing that I will say that I love about having like a solid nail tech that I could go to. Because y'all know I, I'm a press on girly. So, and I really just started getting acrylics like a couple months ago. Like, I just started getting acrylics back in like July, I believe. But, I, but I'm but i having a good time out here. Like, this my, is this my third third appointment out here. So, yeah, my bad. I'm trying to type this password in too at the same. Ooh, I almost seen something. Really a press on girly. But one thing that I love is that I can actually... Why can't you sit it in my glasses? Oh my god. We're gonna sit up a little bit. But yeah, one thing that I like is that I can uh send my nail text. Y'all do I look scary as fuck? I look like I'm gonna say once upon a time it was a little girl in a stormy night. Bitch, like it just looked like I'm finna tell a ghost story or something. And I don't play that in the dark shit, cause bitch. What if you see? Let me turn back this way. I feel like I'm stalling so much to just say what the fuck I'm finna do today. 5 a.m. I'm going to get my nails done at like 9 or 10, I think. So, yeah. I'm going to try to do a get ready with me. But, y'all. I be kind of bad. I be kind of bad. Like, 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 if I'm not going to work. Doing get ready with me for anything else is just trash as fuck. Like it just it just be half ass. You can tell that I'm rushing to leave out. So yeah, we we go see how this go. It's five thirty eight a.m. Appointment is at nine, so we really gotta leave out at like eight. So we really gotta wake our ass up about like seven to get ready. So and it's five thirty eight. So I really just have another. Bitch, I got another hour of sleep. I'll be back, y'all. <laughs> y'all. So why the fuck I actually um my nail appointment is actually at eleven. We were stressed out for no fucking reason. But yeah, my nail appointment's at 11. It's currently... It's currently 8.30. And me knowing the person I am, I like to kind of sit on the toilet for like a good 30 minutes to pretend that I'm in a music video while I'm listening to my little tunes and my TikTok sounds I got saved. So yeah, I'm finna get up right now. Then I'm gonna like... Yeah. Okay, y'all. It's time for me to go. But why the fuck did I take that scarf off? And my wig is talking. This is a catastrophe. Now, I'm gonna just slap a hat on the collar today, and then I'm gonna come back to take the wig off, then reinstall. I done started pulling the wig off. Mind your business. So as we back from the nail shop, these is the clackers. I'm gonna put my nail lady information in the um in the description box, and I'm gonna put the uh Pinterest board where you can see all my nails because it's like 
I steady be telling y'all my nails and my highlights. But I yeah, I already done made a Pinterest board. So now y'all got the Pinterest board and the highlights to look at. And they both gonna be linked in the description box. I'm pulling this wig off. I was like, why put this same blonde wig on? Why not dye it a color? So we moving off impulse today. I don't know if I'm finna dye this hair blue, orange, or uh teal. So we go get all my adore dye colors that I got. Put them on his bed, and then we go pick which one. Okay, change of plans. We go do the teal because the other colors I got is natural colors, and I'm kind of tired of wearing natural colors because I didn't really do no color wig this summer. I only did pink. Pit oh, I be pissing myself off because, like, girl, I'm supposed to be the whole damn skittles rainbow this summer but no i was being scary and didn't want to do no color so usually when i move off of impulse i just go with it because it's like bitch what i'm not showing y'all the damn process because y'all done seen people die a wig before so i'm gonna just come back and you go see the wig teal okay okay I dyed this wig hours ago, and I'm just not putting this bitch on. I don't know how to feel about it. Maybe it's because I gotta actually do it up, but like, I don't know. I'm trying to start wearing more colors, G, because I wear the same shit. Blonde, burgundy, brown. Highlight, blonde, burgundy, brown. It's, <sighs> that shit is boring. I love the way it feels to be a hater. Gee, that song is so funny to me. I think part of me taking so long to put this wig on is the fact that I was indecisive about even putting this shit on. I'm like, should I? It look like I don't have nothing on. I have on a... Okay? Yeah. I'm not a flute. This is so humiliating. There's so many things with the color that's throwing me off, but at the same time, it's like... Now that the top is flat, bitch, she's kind of eating it. Let me see what I can do. I've seen the videos where they start doing the middle part from like right here. Who's doing all this? Like, who is for doing all this? This is crazy. Shouldn't have to do all that for the fucking middle part. Oh, it's in the middle though. Okay. Is it in the middle? Y'all, do I remember me of that video where it, where it was like, spell BMW. And he was like, B E W. He was like, where do you eat the E? He's talking about in the first, in the middle. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Call me a weirdo, but like I be wanting to know how are the kids that went viral on Vine doing? Like, like have y'all ever thought of that? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but like I want to know how the little girl that was like, "Fuck Vine, bitch!" Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't know how she doing. She still feel like it's fuck Vine. Like, what? I don't know. You said having a middle part because y'all know I'm good for the middle part because I'm not, I don't part correctly. So yeah, it's in the middle. It's just, it's just weird to me. That's, that's what it is. Bitch, I leave out at 10 and it's like 7. I need to, come on. I love the way it feels to be a hater. A lot of these people be trying to get on these new artists for saying they coming out with TikTok music, but I ain't gonna lie. This little TikTok music hit. I'm gonna try a sad part. I don't like doing my hair all the time, but the thing is, the way you bitches is charging for installs, who has money for that? Not this bitch here. I went to LA. My install was probably like, I don't remember. It, it was like almost $300. Because by, you gotta think about it. The lift to get there, the lift to get home, the install, the customization, it's just a lot. So crazy because I was just having this conversation with somebody in the comments of my last video when I was talking about cosmetology school and I was talking about how, um, it really like changed my like outlook on doing hair and y'all the the girl in the comments here right on the head one of the besties was basically saying she went through the same thing and now she don't have her license and she don't even like doing hair no more and i feel like that like i don't really like doing hair no more i don't even like doing my own fucking hair i tried to install a wig on my uh best friend like a couple weeks ago to see if i was like you know what bitch if you get bored of this social media shit, you could fall back on her. But I did her hair and I was getting irritated. I can't even see it, but like I'm getting irritated doing my own hair right now. That's how I be knowing I wasn't passionate about that shit. Because and I thought I was passionate back then, but like I'm not as passionate as these girlies for real, for real. Like I'm just not. And that's okay. That's okay. I have to come to terms with like 
every dream is not meant to be yours. I hate the fact that you can see my wallpaper tour in the background. Y'all ignore that. I tried to be aesthetically pleasing and have mirrors on my wall, but my dumb ass, I be trying to be Bob the Bill, the, like, I... You, what, you could, you do... I tried to be Bob the Bad Bitch Builder, whatever, and I tried to stick the mirrors on my wall with adhesive. Them bitches was slipping and sliding, child. You would've thought that I put some oil sheen on that wall before I glued the mirrors on that. Be so real with y'all. Do I like being a plus-size icon? Yes, okay, like I love that shit. But what I don't like is when people look up to other plus-size women for like the representation, regardless if that woman says she was representation or not. And then they start to get mad when the woman start losing weight and shit. And I'm gonna give y'all an example. I have some hot water right now, but for example, Lizzo. She never said that she wanted to be this role model for losing weight or whatever, right? I mean, this role model for like being plus size and shit. And what kind of make me mad is people automatically like felt like that was her role as a fat girl because she's fat so it's like you automatically the representation like no so it's like now when she started like losing weight when she started coming out as vegan and shit started showing her workout process everybody was like oh she losing weight because people talking shit about her she loses y'all don't know what people journeys is like y'all don't know what people be going through regardless and then i hate when people try to make it seem like social media is always the like end all be all and reasoning for why people doing something like y'all don't know why the fuck she doing that everyone is when people be like oh they was a fraud they didn't really love their self they didn't really love their i'm gonna be so real with you self-love is not just like i'm coming from a plus size woman perspective Self-love is just not, it's not just wearing revealing clothing and showing your poopa and like, how can I say this without somebody trying to misconstrue what I say? <laughs> like, it's just, it's, it's more than that. Like, and, and I had to, I had to take a seat and, and like ask myself, bitch, what does being plus size mean to you? Like, what the, what do self-love mean to you? Like... And again, do, have I ever, like, was I one of them people that used to be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to wear what I want to wear because I love myself? Yes, like, self-love is more than that, though. Like, of course, that's a part of self-love, but, like, self-love is more than just wearing revealing clothing. My nails is extra, so that's probably the only reason why I feel like I should impulsively dye this wig. Because any other time, it's like, bitch, uh, why would you go from blonde to blue? I'm to melt it and then yeah like what i was saying it's like when you a woman and when you a fat woman it's like you can't be too confident because don't nobody want to see that but when you're not confident it's like oh you should love yourself you should love yourself especially when you complain about your way like oh i'm fat then you got a bitch like oh you're not fat you're pretty Bitch, I know I'm cute. What the fuck? I ain't even no cocky shit. That just be coming from people's, like, feelings towards you. Like, I, I guess people be scared to say that you're fat. But, like, bitch, you don't have to say. You don't have to lie. It's like when you a fat girl and you confident, you promote no obesity. Then when you go to the gym, it's like, oh, this bitch is a liar. She not in the gym for real, y'all. Like, what? Then... It's like, then it's like, if you love your skin and the skin that you in, it's like, oh my God, she's an icon, she's an icon. Then you start losing weight for whatever the fuck reason. It's, oh, this bitch was a fraud. She was a fraud. She didn't really love herself. She lost weight first year. She had, I don't know. I don't like when people bring that conversation up in regards to Monique either because it's like, y'all have to be for real with y'all self. Like, saying that Monique wasn't a confident woman back then is a lie. Like, because one, 
Monique had the niggas, okay? It was so many niggas I was like attracted to one. And, and I'm not saying it was, but she's not attracted no more. But like, she was pulling them as a big one. Let's be fucking for real. Even when, even when she wasn't like tweaking over the professor and the Parkers, she had the finest niggas. Like, come on, man. So it was just, so it was just weird to me when people started to bring that up like oh she didn't love herself she was quick to lose weight do y'all know how many people be dying behind these like confident bodies and i'm not saying confident as in like they not confident but it's like yeah we love ourselves but that don't always mean that we like living right and i say that because it be so many people that be going through it like health wise and we won't know shit so like it's it's like i don't know in conclusion mind your motherfucking business when it come to people in their life decisions because i be hating when people be making it seem like everything when it comes to a plus ass woman is a facade when she started losing weight because i don't know in my opinion monique was fat for a long time i think she just started losing weight in like 2019 or something like that so it's like um, maybe something was going on with her health which caused her to hurry up and try to lose weight like I don't like when we be trying to come up with that narrative but like plus as women was so quick to lose weight once they get the chance like no that don't mean that they not confident like we don't know what the fuck going on with these people that's why I always tell people to mind their fucking business like mind, just mind your business it's not that fucking home like, my birthday is in a month Cause it's well, I say my birthday is in like a month and a half. Cause my birthday October nineteenth, but it's September first, and I literally don't know what the fuck I want to do for my birthday. I know I want to go out of town. I just don't know where I want to go. That's why I like wide play flat irons. Cause you could flat iron this shit like once or even twice, and it's gonna be how you want it to be you see one pass through and it's already like butter the fact that i just found out that uh mercury was getting micro braids again explains so much like it's been so much weird energy going on and i'm not fucking with it but that's believe i'm i'm happy that everybody that's like acting funny acting funny because it's like bitch I'm, i don't know are y'all the type of people that announce that you finna cut somebody off or do you just like move in silence like literally move in silence nobody know what the fuck you got going on because i don't announce that i'm cutting somebody off i literally act like shit is peachy king and then in the nick of time like and when you least think about it bitch i'm gone all right bitch i feel like an omg girl y'all want to know what's so random but it's so like real everybody think like i don't know everybody be picking like some really like hood songs to like fight to like if a, if somebody asks you what song would you fight to i can guarantee you it's gonna be so many people that say nuck if you buck is that a fighting song yes but you know what song i could really see myself like whooping the sleeves off somebody too bitch i could really see myself being somebody else the omg girls gucci this gucci that like because the bit what i don't i don't know what it is maybe it's something in the beat you know that made me want to just beat the whole up, yup. But like, yeah, it, it definitely be giving a song where you would just get the whoop of somebody else. Get the mixing on the whole like your name was Grandmaster Flash. Like, bitch, oh, yes. Me and my friends that stay in the city or anybody that want to be friends, bitch, don't ask, do I want to go to my house? Bitch, just come get me. Just come get me. Like, why sexy red coming to, um, sexy red coming to whatchamacallit? Uh, Chicago on Halloween and I just want to say I'm debating on even if I'm going because I want to dress up but I'm going to be blue as hell if I go in that hole looking dumb because I'm the only one dressed up like I'm going to be so mad because one thing about Chicago they treat everything like it's dressed to impress and, and, and it, I guess it's dressed to impress like dress, well bitch impress your damn self first of all like it be so many people wearing brands they can't even spell or pronounce just because that's the norm in the city like bitch i don't know no fucking bella canana the fuck bitch. it be so crazy to me because it's like why is we talking about each other 
like, that's weird. You talking about me because I can't afford no design. Like, bitch, I don't even know how to spell this. But yeah, like, again, do Chicago be snapping on that dress and shit? Yes. And, and I love that for us. Like, I love that we be able to express ourselves through clothing and aesthetics. Because one thing about Chicago, I ain't gonna lie. We got some of the baddest alternative women I've ever seen. Like, you wish they be wearing the all black and with the with the chains and like the the like dog collars. Y'all know exactly what aesthetic I'm talking about. But like, other than that, like, ooh, shit. it's like it's like Chicago got it on that dressing shit. I just wish they had it on that manner shit because it's like I could tell by looking at a lot of people post on Facebook when a concert come around or when like something big come around for the city for everybody to pop out I just could tell a lot of motherfuckers just did not have manners growing up because why is you talking about somebody's situation why is you talking about somebody's shoes or clothes like and I don't know maybe it's just cause maybe it's cause I grew up with less than and then on top of that I wasn't raised to talk about people and what the fuck they got. But it just always been weird to me. Because, like, gee, I be knowing the drill. I be knowing the drill. Like, every time it's, like, Big Jam or something, they be making... At first, they used to just make threads of, like, the worst dress, best dressing, like, people who look bogus and shit. Or people who they thought look bogus. But it's like, nah, gee, when I tell you, I sent the whole, like page for big jam it was like the worst dress that big jam or shit like that so it was just kind of weird to me because it's like why is y'all going out y'all way to oh now that it's straight it look even better and then i'm gonna look still still flowy still flowy i love that i love that for me it's like it was just weird to me i'm like y'all going out y'all way to make pages to talk about people and i can guarantee you do people do people go in that dress nice yes but i but i doubt i highly doubt a lot of people is going in there with the notion of like well at first i knew i could just tell at first people wasn't going in the notion going in there with the notion like oh yeah i gotta dress nice for this i gotta dress nice it was just oh i want to dress nice long going to this concert but now you can see a lot of people is going out bad designer they can't afford and death row contracts with climate trying to pay off alexander mcqueen shoes gucci shoes uh dior all that because they don't want to end up on these pages and it's so weird to me because it's like bitch <laughs> Bitch, we is in a recession. We is in, we we going through inflation. If you talking about somebody because of what they got, bitch, you're weird. I attract them type of dudes. It be I be want to know like, bitch, what attracted you to me? Cause uh, this ain't that. She asked me like, so you really want to talk to no man that wear designer? Hell no, bitch. Cause you not finna call me no broke ass bummy sheen wearing ass bitch. When we get into it, like no. I got tired of kept losing my uh, lip line. And then you see all the colors like these is fine. And then on top of that, I'm kind of tired of like not having the correct lip liner. And I think it's because the ones that I begin is not natural colors. So I was like, let me just get like the the nudish. Ah, fuck. I just hit the fuck on my nose. This is cute. This is cute. And it's crazy because I thought this wasn't finna look right because it was it's not dyed evenly, but it's decent. Like the color is blending in with each other low key. This is so pretty. Now I know on the back it's it's not blended because I could I could see a patch of blonde right here. The fact that this nail video turned into a get ready with me is crazy. I don't know why the fuck I was tripping because this is cute. It's flat. I'm gonna come back when my makeup is done and when I got my fit on for work because yeah. I just wanna start off by saying she's eating the rest up. This is a simple beat since I don't know how to do shit else. But yeah, she's taking it. Okay, y'all, this is the finished look. I told y'all I wasn't curling because I low key wasn't feeling. I might do a video curling because I wanna see how I look girls, but my rat is here. So yeah, y'all already know Drew if you liked it. I love you. And if you didn't, true a break. If you want to be one of the nuggets, one of the besties, whatever y'all like being called, just subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified every time I post. And yeah, that was hot. Like, 
I, I shouldn't be out of breath saying that. That's crazy. But yeah, um, I'm gonna call y'all back next week because bitches got shit to do.